Hi everyone, it's Marissa from the blog BumblebeeApothecary.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make a vapor salve. So this one is really great for a few different things. It's a little bit different than the other salves that I've showed how to make on my channel. I have an herbal healing salve and then a black drawing salve. I'm gonna link both of those videos below so that you can check those out. But this one is a lot like a vapor rub or even a tiger balm. So some of the things that you can use it for are if you have congestion, if you're sick, or have congestion for any type of reason, you can rub it under your nose and on your chest and that'll kind of help clear your respiratory passages and just make you more comfortable. If you have a cough or a cold, it can really help just soothe those passages so that you can breathe easier, can clear out congestion, and just make you a lot more comfortable. It's also really good for relieving sore muscles, so if you have sore muscles anywhere, you can rub this on and it really brings relief to the area. It's kind of like cooling and warming at the same time, and it can just relax and bring relief. Another thing that it's really good for is tension, so if you have tension that's causing pain or discomfort, then you can rub this on and it'll kind of help relax those areas. It's also great for headaches, so if you have a headache, you can rub this on your temples and it will help relieve that. So really great all around salve for a variety of different things, definitely something that you want to have in your natural medicine cabinet. Like my other salves, it's a little bit different than a lot of the other salve recipes that you might have seen because it uses a grass-fed tallow base. Now I do that because I love the benefits of tallow for skin and I just love using it whenever I can. But if you don't have tallow on hand, you can definitely use something else. I would probably go with something like a coconut oil with some beeswax. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you how to make this. Just like with the other salve recipes, I'm going to begin by measuring the amount of tallow that I need. I melt the tallow first so that I can measure it easily and then I'm going to pour that into my glass mason jar to that melted tallow, and it's actually tallow balm, I should say. So I have another video which I'll link below that shows how you make the tallow balm, and all that means is that there's a little bit of olive oil added just to make it a little bit of a softer consistency, and I like to use that just because that's what I have on hand, and it's really easy to make it into that. I add the beeswax to that. And then I'm going to make sort of a double boiler. I have my pan with a cloth in the bottom to keep the jar from breaking. And I'm going to put the jar in there and add some water. And then I'm going to go put that on the stove to simmer and melt that beeswax. Once the beeswax is all melted, I'm going to stir it so that it's all combined with the tallow. And then I'm going to add my essential oils. And you can add um, single essential oils or a blend. It works best if you have a bunch of different kinds. I'm using this Synergy from Plant Therapy that is called Sniffle Stopper. I'm using it because it's kid safe so I can use it during pregnancy and on my kids and I don't have to worry about it having oils in it that are not safe for either of those situations. So I'm going to add that. On my blog post I'm going to have more information about what dilution you should choose depending on what age of a person is going to be using this. So there's going to be a link in the description box below where you can see that information so that you'll know when you're making it exactly how much essential oils to use. Once the essential oils are added, I'm going to give it a stir to make sure that those are well combined all throughout the tallow beeswax mixture. And then after that, I'm going to pour it into the tins. You can use tins or you could use jars. I like this one ounce tin size because it's easy to have on hand or bring with me. So I'm going to pour that into those tins and then just let it solidify. And here's what they look like when they're all finished hardening and so it's solidified and ready to use. Okay, I hope that you found that interesting and I hope that you give it a try. If you do, let me know what you think and what you end up using it for and how it helps you. I'm going to link all of the ingredients that I use in the description box below so that you can find those easily to make it yourself. I'm also going to put a link below to my blog post 
where I have the full written recipe and all of the measurements so that you can find that information there. There's a printable recipe card there too. And if you're interested in picking up a pre-made one of these vapor salves, there's going to be a link below to my Etsy shop where I have these for sale. Also below, there's going to be a link to a brand new free ebook that I have just recently released and it is DIY home remedy recipes. So it contains three different really helpful home remedy recipes. Some, there's two different salve recipes in there and then there's an elderberry syrup recipe also. So you definitely wanna jump down and find that link and grab that free ebook. All right, thanks so much for watching this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.